Although alien-looking and often off-putting, these worms are a natural part of many ecosystems. The hammerhead worm is a terrifying, toxic terrestrial flatworm. Want to know more about the hammerhead worm? Let's get started! They're technically flatworms as evidenced by their flattened bodies. The name hammerhead comes from the distinctive shape of their stalked, curved heads that remind people of hammerhead sharks. They pose no danger to you unless you pick one up, as the slime might cause skin irritation. Due to the toxin, nothing much eats them except other hammerheads. The pattern of stripes can be helpful to identify species, though all have a similar biology. The semicircular head of flatworms housed sensory organs and numerous tiny eyes. These species are often black, blue, brown, or gray in color. Hammerhead worms are generalist predators, though some have more specific tastes. They hunt down soft-bodied prey like earthworms, snails, slugs, and small arthropods like sowbugs, spiders, and insects. Hammerhead worms wrap around their prey and digest it on the underside of their body where their mouth is located. They stalk their prey with cool precision advancing on conveyor belts of slime. When they catch their hapless targets, they wrap around them like boa constrictors and secrete a sticky mucus that contains both a toxin to kill and an enzyme to dissolve. As victims turn into disgusting goo, victors drink them. Reproduction can happen through sexual means, though they are hermaphrodites, but very often hammerhead worms reproduce asexually by physically splitting to form new worms. This also means that worms that are cut up can grow back to become multiple new worms. Hammerhead worms have been mistakenly called hammerhead slugs because they move in a slug-like fashion. They use cilia on their creeping sole to glide over a strip of mucus. Hammerhead worms require moist habitats to survive. Although generally harmless, some flatworms can carry rat lungworms, a parasite that can infect people only if the worm is eaten. It's also been discovered that some species of bipalium produce tetrodotoxins in their mucus. Some people are even sensitive to the mucus on its own. Due to these concerns, it's always best to minimize handling these worms, though if handled it's recommended to not touch eyes and mouths, and wash hands thoroughly afterward. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it.